So Diddy Kong traditionally kind of good against sorties, like especially when Infernape gets Banana in hand, Mr. E is not going to be able to get like too comfortable spacing aerials on shield like he normally would. They're going to have to play a much more grounded game because Diddy can just dominate the airs. Mm -hmm. Unless they get juggled at low percents. Ooh, yeah, reacting to the B-reversed uh, peanut gun. Mr. E right now in a very dominant lead. The Dolphin Slash doing a good job of getting uh -oh. out of that initial combo. Finally, that down air just mashing it. Ooh, I love, the, I, I love the idea, not only to try for the skill check, but also to try and break the barrels. And now we know where Infernape likes the roll. It's for the Mr. E. Ooh, Inferno trying to capitalize on the Miss Dolphin Slash. All right, that time teching in place. You can see Mr. E was potentially looking for a tech roll in after tech roll out. Not quite work. Let's now we have see. banana in hand. This could be really big stuff. Like, great. All right, the low profile of Diddy's dash, keeping him safe from the Dolphin Slash, but unfortunately making sure he's not able to get too much of a conversion out of that banana. Well, Mr. E likes to either use Dolphin Slash to get out of, like, combos or likes to just mash down air. And sometimes Dolphin Slash is the correct one, but you know what is correct? At 170, up throw. Yeah, not something you see too often, but when they're at that high percent, absolutely go for it. You know, it is a good cure for Marthritis. <laughs> if you can't kill, just grab and throw. Yeah. Just get that, get that wrist workout, because it really is all in the wrist. Unless the you have Carpal Tunnel, then, then please warm well, up your hands before. But Mr. E now getting to play for extra credit already almost 60%. Infernape has not been able to find his in here in neutral. All right. this, this award's Hello dangerous there. for Lucina. If they are trying to hit first and Diddy is just able to like wait and see, they can punish easily. Yeah, and I mean, I do really like that <gasps> from oh Infernape. You know, even when down a stock, keeping the patience up. Oh, but a Banana into F Smash, now putting Infernape in a bad position once again, recovering very close to the stage to avoid Ooh. the skill check. I think they went a little too far there with the forward smash. <laughs> okay. Mr. E with some nice item play with the peanut. Who grabs the peanut and uses it? Mr. E, that's it. Uh, yeah. Mr. E nut. <laughs> oh! Ooh, fantastic catch on the monkey flip. Now putting Infernape on the back foot. Only one stock remaining here in game one. Mystery unfortunately dropping shield. Off stage. Oh, okay. That could have been big. Nice little delay there. Trying to get something started, but back dashing onto the platform. I love this empty movement right now from Infernape with the B reverse. Peanut gun movement trying to keep his neutral ambiguous to see if he can find Mr. E swinging first because he's going to have to keep that patience up to find the second stock pretty much the same way that he got the first stock. I mean, these up smashes have been on point. You're scaring Mr. E with the down tilts and you're forcing him to either shield and if he's letting go of shield, you can do the up smash. But if he keeps shielding, that's an easy monkey flip. But we're going to see if it is too little too late. As never Mr. too e. late. Never give up. It's I mean, always winnable. Definitely never give up. And Infernape right now not giving up in the slightest as he gets the percentages back into his favor. Great read on the air dodge away. We are looking at an even game right now, Swiss. Oh, what a good parry. Trying to do a down air out of shield. Mr. E needs to make something happen now. Oh, Ooh. it was a good stall from Infernape. Yeah, and getting the chance to reset neutral, but monkey flipping right into Lucina's loving arms. It's time for ledge trapping once again. How do you get past these huge swinging hitboxes of Lucina as she trips there. on the banana twice? Yeah, that was unfortunate. Real this Looney Tunes moments. Okay. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, this could be huge. Big punish. That doesn't kill at yeah. 154 rage? Okay, Infernape uh, is locked in, though. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're going to throw up. everything. All right, Throwing Infernape. the whole produce aisle at Infernape right now. Okay, Mystery the has to close this out now. That was, they can almost, make it back. that was almost barrel moments. Okay, they have the peanut again. 
Infernape just can't rely on this peanut mix-up anymore. It's In not a mix-up, it's just expected. Incredibly tense situation, tries to go. <laughs> Infernape tried to go for third time's the charm, catching the neutral air with an up smash, but Mr. E fast falling it, and instead he's gonna be the one to take game one. That was Infernape's actually to win. If Infernape had held on to shield and just shifted it a little bit, free up smash. Mm -hmm. That neutral air, it's powerful, but it is punishable if you're just too far in and not spacing correctly. Yeah, you can see there the spark, Mr. E, fast falling the neutral air, making sure that Infernape is not able to sneak his way under. I'm liking this counter pick. A lot more area for Diddy to cover, and a lot more places to place the banana. Yeah, he's, he's actually going to be getting a lot more space to pull the banana as well. Also... I think Train versus Ray. I did see Train take a game. Okay. So he is up a game. I don't know if it's game two or three, but just keeping my eye out. Some good spacing. Oh my a forward God. smash. Infernape should be keeping an eye out on these F smashes here at ledge. Nice little grab. <gasps> that Z drop banana was so good from Mr. E. Getting him the space now to set up a ledge, potential ledge trap once again. Infernape just throwing the banana away, but grabbing it out of the air, trying to pressure any landing from Mr. E. Just baiting him, daring him to approach. Mr. E playing it so patiently. Did you see that micro walk into the down tilt? I'm telling you, Infernape's walks have just been so good tonight. Like, sometimes you don't Ooh. need to run. Relax. Walk. You'll get there eventually. I really like the aggressive recovery from Mr. E. You see, we have the side uh, platforms of Town and City, but Mr. E recovering right past to the main platform. Just kind of caught Infernape off guard. Just like Mr. E was caught off guard with that up smash. Infernape popping off just a little bit with some cool little tech. But going right into up tilt range, manages not to get hit. Just, just wait. It's okay. Wait for the invincibility to be lost. Right, coming back in, but the banana now in Mr. E's hand. I mean, Infernape has been pulling these, like, long-range bananas quite a bit. Ah, uh, Well, you know, at that point, we, we'll take the 9.4 extra credit. Okay, I like the nice little banana conversion from Mr. E. Mr. E has been getting so much value out of banana in this game. Can skill check again? I love the idea. No way. Trying his best to break these barrels, but Infernape not quite shaken just yet. Still in this game. <laughs> Town that... and City scaring us just a little bit. Yeah, that was the equivalent of like running to catch the train as it's leaving, holding the door open with your arm. Like, no, I have to get in. A Miss Fair is going to have Mr. E eating a lot of damage. Oh, great ledge trump. Oh, the banana saving in front of you, but not for too long. Mr. E is still able to hold on to the ledge trapping position. And now only one stock away from finding himself in grands. Finally pulling out that scratch in the face. Mr. E camping the platform, waiting for Infernape to make that first move. That could have been huge if Infernape was able to capitalize on could that neutral air, but that is going to be it. You we know, are now dead even. Town and city giveth. Town and City take it away. It really does. <gasps> that was wow. a great spot dodge oh. from Infernape and such a huge conversion after the fact as well. But now finding himself in a juggle situation. Uh-oh. Just so you know they have to close this out right now. Both players see? just turning the gas up incredibly here in this last stock. Really only one of these players has rockets. So money's on them right now. Right, get up attack, getting himself some space at the ledge. Mr. E has to respect this banana right now. Oh. Ooh. Infernape knowing that they just can't make the first move. Trying to find a, a gap between all these sword swings. Could be it? No. Right. With banana in hand, you know, Mr. E not able to capitalize too well on it. The Dolphin Slash unfortunately clipping Infernape. Now putting himself at the ledge. Oh. Gets the Nair one, no but jump. not able to kill just yet. All right. Barrel into him. <laughs> Are you calling it now? <laughs> Barrel into him? Not with a back air like that. Ooh. 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 Okay, tech situation. Okay. Great, Great. get up attack. Oh, and just what you need, the forward tilt.
Mr. E moving on to grand finals. Yep, after such a tense ending, instead it is going to be Mr. E taking it 2-0 as he moves on into grand finals of Xeno Sub-Zero. Is that just what we're going to call the winter editions now? Sub-Zero? Uh, this, is, this is a Xeno negative 327 <laughs> <Yeah>. degrees. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. You know, Infernape really turn up the heat. Unfortunately, we'll be seeing him in losers' finals against, well, whoever manages to get there. It's going to be hot. He's going to be looking for the run back here against Mr. E in grand finals. Yeah, it looks like the remaining contenders, we have uh, Train. Uh, whoever wins between um, LRA and John, and I think Burst, and who else am I missing? Uh, it was one second. It was Burst versus the winner of Train and Ray, but as we can see on oh, okay. our view, that there's a Dark Samus on the victory yes. screen. So Train having taken that. Yeah. 